Welcome back to Craft Hoarder over here on YouTube. I just wanted to film this uh, portfolio that I got in today um, from Della Q. Um, filming in a little bit different spot and getting ready to go to bed. So sorry, no tripod or anything, but this came today and I just wanted to share it with you. So this is how it came packaged. It came in one of those white plastic envelope bags. I just took that off. And then um, this was in there along with my inventory sheet, which I'm not gonna show you. I ordered this from Madeline Tosh. Okay, I will show you my inventory sheet, but I'm going to cover my info. Okay, so I ordered this from Madeline Tosh. The Maker's Canvas Portfolio in Olive. Um, it's by Della Q, part of the Lotus Collection. I recently did a uh, knitting backpack of theirs, so check that video out. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, first of all, this box is really nice and is definitely going to be sticking around for like Christmas presents because what a nice box and here we go look at that how well okay so first thing I notice I'm pretty sure that's yarn fuzz I don't think that's pet hair I think that's yarn fuzz which makes sense seeing as Madeline Tosh is a yarn company oh yeah feels like yarn fuzz okay so here is the front the Della Q label over here on the side the leather handle which is really nicely attached um definitely sturdy there um there's the tag that was on it um, and this is called the maker's portfolio okay so let's get into this it's got so sorry I'm trying to do this one-handed it's got two zippers up top here so in this first zipper This is the pattern holder, which is really nice. Um, this will stay, oh, look at that, they unsnap. How neat is that? That unsnaps, it's like a little hinge, uh, holds it open. I think it's just the one side that unsnaps. I'm not gonna try to break it. Uh, as you can tell, it probably was not, well, it was not very cheap. <laughs> And I expect this to last me forever in a day. So there's my pattern keeper. Um, you open up this little pocket here. And it's just a simple pocket. No, if I can get in there. No division. Smooth all the way across. Uh, about two and a half, three inches deep. This pocket over here. Again, about two and a half, three inches deep, no division or anything, just a smooth little pocket. And the entire interior is covered in this beautiful lotus um, fabric. Uh, the outside is wax canvas and leather, so it is going to be somewhat waterproof. You can always tell wax canvas because you can kind of ride on it, which is fun. Um, and leather and these beautiful little brass detailings I think it's brass okay so then the second pocket there's two main compartments the second main compartment here looks oh look at that there's all kinds of goodies in here okay looks like this okay so you've got your elastic banding here which could be used to um, store your knitting needles and it's sized differently so these up here these partitions up here are much thicker whereas these ones down here there's no way I'm getting my finger in there that's for like a size two 
needle or something. Uh, two millimeter needle way down here. Tiny. Um, so knitting needles or crochet needles. You could easily do crochet needles in this too. Um, and then it's got these plastic sleeves. Which open from the top. So that's kind of nice. So that would be great for storing like your circulars or some cables, um, your circular needles and cables. Yeah. And then um, because it's, you know, Delicue and they always do this, it comes with a little dot journal and a darning needle, which is awesome. I have my little magnetic square that I'm gonna stick that in and I will probably stick this in with my knitting bag. Uh, this whole thing is gonna go in my knitting bag, but you know, I like to be a little more organized than that. Okay, so this is needle size sheets. So yeah, you can, Organize this in your circulars. You've got a zero, a one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. You get the idea. Um, there's plenty of sleeves here, which is really nice. And this is all held down by these beautiful brass uh, fittings in here. So it's pretty stable. Um, and these are pretty thick plastic. Um, I don't expect them to get worn out anytime soon for sure. Um, on the back we have some more pockets here. Um, these don't have any elastic to them so they're not real stretchy. Um, I would say this would be more for holding um, uh, straights like the short straights or um, just the tips of your interchangeables. So I would probably use this side for my interchangeable tips and use this side for my crochet hooks because this has the elastic which will fit better around my silicone handles on my hooks. And then I would store my cables in here is what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Um, but this is really nice that they included a little kind of organizing sticker set. That's really handy. Um, and then on the back is a single pocket. Um, this one I'd say is about four inches deep. Four and a half. Four and a half inches deep. You know, from... Yeah, that's about four and a half inches deep. Um, so yeah, this is the Maker's Canvas by Della Q. Um, I had a really difficult time finding this. Um, so if you do find it, uh, I suggest you get it because I don't know, I don't know anything about whether or not they are not making this anymore or if they are just simply out of stock or what the plan is for these um, makers portfolios. And this is part of the makers bag line. It is the makers portfolio in the color olive. Um, and it's part of the Lotus collection. So I don't know what the plan is with these, but I could could not find this in any of my usual places. I went directly to Del Q, they were out of stock. I went to Jimmy Beans, they were out of stock. Um, searched on eBay, found a couple of beat up used ones that I was not interested in buying. Um, went on to Madeline Tosh, they had this on the clearance. And I don't know if I got the last one in this olive color or what because I went back in to check the um pricing of it because I had forgotten how much it was so I went back to check to see how much the sale for it was and there was none in their shop so if you can find this I highly recommend it um I I don't know if it's Again, I don't know if it's being discontinued or if it's just so popular that it's out of stock. I would imagine it's just so popular that it's out of stock, but I don't know. 
I really don't. It seems like something new is always changing, right? I love the fact that this can hold all of your tools and your pattern. And it's nice and small and convenient. And it will fit right in to my bag. My maker's bag. Quite well. And keep everything nice and contained in there. So that's really handy. I really like that. Um, it's going to get a lot of use from me. Um, so, yeah. The Maker's Portfolio from Delic U. Way to go, you guys. You did fantastic. A little silica gel packet. I don't know why I have that. But, yeah. There you go. So, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Um... Have fun, be safe, stay cool, and peace out.